Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. I'm working on a really sweet quilt from Joyce Lundrigan's All-in-One Club, and it's called Split Circles. And I'm doing mine custom and a little bit modern, which probably is no surprise to anybody. But I want to show you how I put in these pearl piano keys behind these arcs, because it was so easy to do, and it's a really good lesson in Creative Studio. So let's get started. The first thing that I did on this particular pass was use draw line to do my stitch in the ditch. And I used channel lock because I wanted to make sure that this line was perfectly straight. The next thing that I did was select my pattern. And the one that I used was this snowball double piano key by Joyce Lundrigan. I'm going to select my line and I'm going to left click on apply pattern. Now, I needed these patterns to go below this line, and because of the direction that the line is drawn in, the piano keys go above the line. So I'm going to hit Control z I'm going to select my line, and I'm going to reverse the start and end. Do a left click on my tool strip. I then am going to say Apply again, and Creative Studio figures those piano keys out symmetrically according to the size that they are sized. And I just went with the default size. I can delete my line because it is a sewable line and I don't want it to sew because I've already done that with the stitch in the ditch. What I want to show you is that if I select this piano keys, because the pearl is at the bottom where the arcs are, and I don't want it to be at the bottom. I want them to be at the top. All I have to do is hit my letter Y on my keyboard, and it automatically flips all of those vertically so that they are now in the correct position. I can then scroll in to see how close they are, and they're a little bit close for me, so I'm going to hold down my Alt button and hit my down arrow on my keyboard and just move them down ever so slightly. I left the line so that you could see a reference of what I was talking about. Now my piano keys are ready to go. Select the line and hit my Delete key on my keyboard. They start sewing right to left, and I want them to sew left to right, but there's a real easy way to do that as well. The next thing that I needed to do was click out my boundary of my arcs to be able to have Creative Studio do a fill behind these arcs. And I used Draw Arc to be able to do that. That's one of my very favorite tools in version 7 because we can do that with the head of the machine. So I'm going to left click on Draw Arc, which is going to be so much easier than going click, 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 click for those boundaries. So let me show you with the machine head how I do that. My first arc is a half arc, so I'm going to... From my keypad, click Select, go to the center of that half arc, down to the last bottom of that half arc, click in the middle for my stitch in the ditch, at the end of my stitch in the ditch. The next arc is a full arc, so I'm going to find the center, then go down to the bottom, go to the next arc in my stitch in the ditch, go back to the center. Every click after the first three clicks is going to be a sequence of only two clicks. One for the center and one for the ending. So every click after the first three are going to be a series of two clicks. So let me click these out for you. 
I have finished clicking out my arc, so now I'm going to say close drawing, and I'm going to exit drawing, and these were all done from the machine head. So I'm going to now have to click out the top part of my boundary to be able to do a proper fill. I'm going to select the first arc that I did by using my greater than and less than keys, and I'm going to do order join. And I'm going to go ahead and combine those patterns because it will make them easier to select. Now I'm going to choose draw line because I need to click out what's going to be the rest of my boundary. I'm going to put that together with my arcs and convert the whole thing to a boundary. So let me do those right quick. And I'm going to start at this ending point over here. I've got that part clicked out. Now I'm going to select my arcs and they will select with my greater than key because I did use order join and combine them. I'm going to once again do order join and because I started at this corner, it should select the arcs along with the top line and that's exactly what it did. I need to combine these because I cannot convert them until I combine them. So I'm going to do that, use my greater than and less than to select them again, left click on convert, which is on my tool strip. Now I have a very good boundary of what my arcs are. I'm going to move my crosshair so that you can see it a little better. I would scroll in, make sure that this little pearl is where it needs to be. Go over to this end. That little pearl is not necessarily where it needs to be. So I can select my patterns and I would move them just ever so slightly because I don't want to really have those pearls turn out to be ovals. That looks better to me. Now I can scroll in and make sure that none of these pearls are touching that boundary line because if they are, it's going to cut them off. I could select this one and hold down my Alt key and just move it up ever so slightly. Do the same thing with this one. And I did do that and it won't make that much difference on a visual because I want those pearls to be right up against that line. And if you do that ever so slightly, you're going to find that by the time you get to a part where those pearls are closer to that boundary line, you're not going to be able to see the difference on the quilt. Even though I use channel lock to do that stitch in the ditch, I need to be sure that I click accurate boundaries. So see, you really can't tell the difference on that. I'm not going to take the time to do them all. I am simply going to select my piano keys. I'm going to left click on fill pattern and it is a fill inside. It is still selected. So because I want it to start stitching left to right, because that's just what my brain tells me I need to do. I'm going to left click on reverse start and end. Gave me an error message. It doesn't yet recognize that that's one pattern. So let's click off of it. Click back on it again. Reverse start and end. Thank you very much. Now it says, oh, that really is one pattern and it reversed the start and end, so now my piano keys are going to stitch, and that's how easy it was to put those piano keys in that particular quilt. The next thing that I did was go in here and stitch my pattern in my arcs, and you can see that I have begun to do that right there. This is what I have done so far on the quilt. The reason that you see it this way is because I loaded the quilt horizontal. So I hope that helps you just a little bit to be able to understand just how beneficial draw art can be 
and how easy it is to do fill around these arcs. Thank you.